Hello, it's Lonnie with Crafty Traveler, and you see behind me, my rig is hooked up. I am going on my first solo solo trip, only with Snickers. Watch till the end to see where I go. Stay tuned for more.
the sunshine and the day I'm trying to make this darkness go away I'll paint with colors and I'll sing until my lungs give out I'm gonna let the sun shine in going on some kids are playing but otherwise this is a very nice campground I was able to get here towing my um, car and um, backed up with a little bit of assistance from a neighbor but all hooked up with uh, power and water and there is a dump station I'll be here for four nights and we'll be cruising around looking at stuff so stay tuned by the way, today is July the 17th, 2022. Here's my sight. All unhooked from the car, back in the RV. Hooked up my power and water. The Wi-Fi is fair and the cell service is minimal. Had a problem calling Ernie, but he got the message. So all is well for us right now sitting here having a little glass of wine Snickers on my lap and we're relaxing so I have uh, water and power and there's a dump side on the premises I'll have to go to when I go home today is Monday June the 18th 2022 good morning it's Lonnie from Crafty Traveler and I am at Olima Campground near Point Reyes California are starting to wake people are starting to wake up so they're driving around talking doing things right now I'm at the doggy park with Snickers here's Snickers this is a really nice doggy park it's all grass it's pretty big of course they have containers and bags all the things you need in a doggy park he's enjoying his walk around I still have the leaves attached in case I have to so last night we had a pleasant night's sleep. I woke up a couple times, but I usually do. No traffic noise, no sounds. It was a very quiet night. Temperature was comfortable. We used a couple of quilts and Snickers got under the blanket, but we didn't put the heater on. And this morning I just have a little sweatshirt on to walk around, but I think it's going to be warm today. I think it's going to be in the 80s today see how that goes. I want to take you around the park a little bit, so stay tuned for that. And near the dog park, they have a volleyball mat, they have a shuffleboard court, and a cell phone shoe somewhere. It's a very big park. There's like four or five different loops. I'll have to uh, count up how many sites there actually are. There's the horseshoes. There's the horseshoe pitch court. There's my loop. There's my little motorhome and my CRV. This is my solo trip pulling the CRV Honda. This is the area of the park that's the tree loops. You can see on this side of the park there are lots of vacancies. More up front, they're more crowded. 
even in my loop. Oh, I guess I'm in Holly loop after all. 202, that we only have three campers. So they've spaced us nicely. Nice in the sun, although I have hookups, but the solar's getting charged. Beautiful area. Trees to look at and sit under, but don't block the solar. This is the back end of the park. This is no RBs beyond this point, but there are vans and tents, so this is the tent section. There's the playground. There's some children playing, so I don't want to get too close, but it looks like a fun playground for the kids. Here's the bathhouse with restroom and showers. Let's go in and take a look. I don't think anybody's in there. This is the ladies' bathroom. Shower area. It's got three showers. Pretty nice. Looks clean. And a bench. And a place to hang your clothes. Looks clean. They clean it every day. Here's the dump station that I will be having to use when I leave. I hope you liked the video of me arriving at Olima Campground and showing you around the campground a little bit. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe. And of course, stay crafty when traveling in your RV. And towing your tow vehicle. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more adventures.